Hey, Patrick people, it's Stephanie again with Patrick BMW, and this is going to be part three of our iDrive series. So today we're going to go over our navigation menu. So to select navigation, again, just press down on your iDrive screen or just touch the screen since it's a touch screen. And this will pull up your navigation menu. Now there's several ways you can enter an address. You can do it the manual way. Um, you can enter it by city, state, even an intersection. You can also speak the address with that little microphone icon, again, located on the steering wheel right here next to the call button. So you can say, for instance, navigate to gas station, Starbucks. Actually, let's test that out now. So we're going to just briefly press the uh, microphone button. You don't have to hold it. Just give it a quick tap and it's ready to go. So for instance, Find gas station. Shell 750 East Higgins Road, Schwimmer. Say yes or select another entry from the list. So what this will do is it'll pull up the closest gas stations located in your area. So you can kind of scroll through them and select which one you would like. It's always going to recommend the closest one to you just for convenience. So we're going to go ahead and select this shell and start guidance. And of course you can to the highlighted route. And of course you can always say yes when the navigation asks if you'd like to proceed or not. So now this menu is going to show. So this is going to be your main map menu. As you can see right now it's zooming in a little bit since we're in a kind of a smaller area. If we were on a highway or something it would zoom out a little more just for perspective and easier to see. So if you click on the over to the left on your iDrive button, it'll pull up this little submenu right here. So this top flag icon right here is for your guidance if you want it on or off. So for now we'll keep it on, and to select it off you would just select it and hit enter stop guidance. You can also enter a new destination or an intermediate destination. So say we wanted to go to Portillo's before the gas station, you could enter that before we go to the gas station. You can also select your route preferences. Uh, this will give you a the fastest route, an alternative route, and the EcoPro route. The EcoPro route is calculated to give you the best possible gas mileage to your destination. Uh, it's also going to say about what time you'll get there and how many miles it'll take to get you there. You can also go to your route details. Uh, that'll just give you a brief outline of where you're going. You can do a route flyover, which will kind of zoom you in and out, and uh, you can kind of zoom in and out and see where you're going and how you're going to get there. Um, it also gives you your general route settings, so you can do a default setting, which we have set for the fastest setting. You can do the shortest route or the Eco Pro route. Uh, you can also do dynamic guidance, where in if there's a traffic situation. Uh, it takes any sort of online information into account and it'll say, oh, there's a traffic incident, let's try to reroute that. Um, so what that'll do is you can have it with confirmation or automatic. So you can have it automatically reroute you or you can choose to have it ask you before it reroutes you. Uh, toll roads, you can say if you want to use cash lanes, electronic, or just avoid them altogether. Uh, you can also go to your online routes uh, when available. It'll also learn a route if you'd like it to learn a certain route. Uh, you can avoid highways, avoid ferries, carpool roads, or even select an entire area to avoid as well if you want. Uh, if we go back to our main menu, you can also go to voice instructions if you want those on or off. You can just select it or deselect it. Route. So right now it's back on again. Traffic info will give you a list of traffic that's currently within your area if anything's blocked up, um, any sort of traffic incidents, which I'm sure there's a lot of. <laughs> uh, you can also choose different map content. So you can choose to view points of interest, uh, traffic flow, different traffic icons, parking information, uh, weather, and satellite images. So for weather and satellite, when you select those, you're not going to see them immediately. So if you click back over onto your map, and you're going to zoom out to about one mile out, that'll display your 
satellite images. It's not going to display it any closer than a mile because it kind of distorts the map view, makes it a little hard to see and maneuver around. Uh, if you go out to 10 miles, that'll actually show you the different weather in different arid areas. So right now you can see it's about, let me zoom in, 46 degrees there, about 48 degrees there. So it's kind of cool to see what's going on there. And other than that, you can change your map views. So what that'll do is you can have your, you can choose to have your map always facing north, even when your navigation's on. Uh, you can have it direction of travel, which is the map will kind of follow which way you're going. Perspective view is going to give you that kind of 3D uh, view of your map. And you also have your auto zoom feature, auto zoom with info, or manual zoom. You can also rotate the overview uh, if you'd like to kind of zoom out, rotate, kind of see what you want to see with your map. Uh, interactive map is kind of a cool feature. Uh, you can actually use your iDrive button or uh, just touch the touch screen to zoom in and out, kind of go different places, scroll around the map. Uh, if you want to select a specific point, um, you can just click down on your iDrive button. Uh, you can choose to start a new guidance. You can always add it as an intermediate destination since we currently have navigation set to the gas station. Uh, leave interactive map. You can show the destination. You can save the position and change the map view. So right now we're just going to leave. Let's see, Other than that, I think that about wraps up the navigation menu. Uh, again, this is Stephanie at Patrick BMW, and we will see you next time.